Jay, 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 you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back. I didn't did it again. Good morning. <laughs> All right, kids. Listen, I just want to talk to you guys about, you know, something that I heard from Jay Z. Jay Z said something like, yo, you know. <laughs> what was it he said? He said something like, you know, holding money to your ear. That's a disconnect. Some shit like that, right? Which kind of makes sense for somebody who has a lot of money, like Jay-Z, right? But for the younger people, you know, sometimes, you, you know, you have $5,000 in your pocket and you feel like, man... You own the world, right? You own everything. You're like, oh man, I'm good. I'm rich. You know, when you're young, you don't know about these things, right? So, I don't know. To me, that was just a dumbass line for Jay-Z to be talking down on other people's. And why do, am I talking about this in code? Is because I feel sometimes it's the same thing that happens with you know senior developers or developers who are really passionate about coding they look down on other developers you know they'll be like oh this person is using uh, bootstrap or this person is using jquery or this person is using uh, angular one but in reality guys nobody cares about what technology you use to create something as long as it works and you know I put both both topics together because it's like I see that shit all the time where I go online I see a comment where somebody will be like oh, oh you're still using react you're still using angular it's all about Vue.js right now, and it's like, man, what's going to be the next framework this summer, right? You don't even know, right? It could be the fucking Harry Potter framework right now, right? It could be the Teletubby framework next, right? And then, why are we supposed to do jump on it just because everybody's talking about it on the internet? Guys, if you know JavaScript, you know React, right? I, I, like, I don't know how to explain this to people sometimes. Like, listen, React is just JavaScript. There's nothing different, right? Now, when you're talking about Vue.js, Vue.js copy the same model of Angular where you got to come in and learn a million different things. Like computer, computer, it was a computer, something, uh, fucking V-bind this, V-bind that. Like... Vuex this, Vuex that. Like, come on, guys. Like, it, it doesn't matter what what technology you use, as long as you get the job done, All right? And I'm talking to you guys who are like senior developers, mid-level developers, people who have been in the industry, people who are not even in the industry, and are like constantly following the trends. They like every time something new comes out, they're like, hey, man. We gotta jump on this. It's 2017, so now we gotta jump on this shit. So now it becomes like a three month thing. That's why a lot of people don't even wanna be doing front end, you know, the front end or even JavaScript. Because the community has become like a bunch of like people who are just creating shit and recreating the same shit that's already there. You know what I mean? Instead of making what's there, better they're recreating it that was one of my main reasons why i did not like Vue.js. i didn't see no no upside to it because i already know javascript i understand for somebody who doesn't know javascript and they're like oh man i could start using a framework and and be productive but i still don't know javascript but wow Vue.js makes this look so easy you still don't know javascript you know what I mean? Like, you still don't know it. Like, yes, you could do a, what is it, 
a V by for each or some shit like that to create a loop. And it's like, you don't even know how to do a loop in JavaScript. Why are you worrying about doing it in a framework, right? Now that's one thing, right? Now, the other thing is, you know, when other senior developers and, and people who have a little bit more experience than others, they look down on, on others because they don't have the same experience. Guys, this is all about how much hours you put in, man. You can't be mad if somebody doesn't know as much as you because you have 10,000 hours in. They might have maybe 50 hours in. It's gonna take them some time to get to your level, right? But when you come in and you leave comments on their videos or leave comments on on their on their comments, it's like you don't know what you're talking about when da da da. Like, bro, they they know as much as you knew back then. You know what I mean? So sometimes I, I don't know, man. The community. I feel when it comes to the front end community. I think it's pretty shitty. I'll be honest. Like, you go into the Ruby on Rails community and, like, everybody's like, kumbaya. Everybody's happy. Everybody is like, oh, cool. You release a gem. Wow, man. Congrats. Let me know so I can put it on my blog or let me know so I can share it on my Twitter feed. It's like, JavaScript is not like that. It's like, there's just a bunch of people who think they know but they don't they don't have no fucking idea what the hell they're talking about and then on top of that they're bringing down other people who are just getting into the industry right that's what one of the reasons why i don't go into like reddit i try to stay away from reddit like there's just like so many losers there like it's not even funny sometimes you go in there and you see a good article or a good a good post and they everybody's putting a thumbs down because they don't agree with it it's like what the hell man somebody came in and wrote something good something that other people could read but either the moderators or the fucking you know the losers who, who be in there it's like oh thumbs down bring that shit down man don't let nobody see this so then it, it makes a, uh, how you call this, uh, an illusion of like, oh, a certain framework is like really popular right now, but in reality, there's no jobs for it. Or there's like a, a freaking programming language that is is really good and, you know, it's up and coming. They don't want to show it no love because they're like, nah, we're sticking to this. You know what I mean? Like... I just think like people be be doing so much dumb shit. And the reason why I brought it down to like Jay-Z to bring it back to the main topic, right? Is basically it's like Jay-Z talking about, oh, you know, younger people over here freaking putting money money stacks to their ears, you know, there's a disconnect because he has billions of dollars and he's been here for twenty something years or thirty something years, right? But what about the new people who are coming in? When he came in, he was doing it. So, it's the same thing as code. The same mistakes that people are making now, that's the same mistakes that every developer makes. And that's fine. So, I'm just saying, like, if you, once you get to a certain level, guys, just don't be an asshole to other developers, man. Just be cool. Be nice, and that's it. It'll be a better community. People will want to be in this community more instead of having other people be like, you know, shutting them down. Or, you know, if you have a different opinion than others, like automatically the whole community is against you. Like, no, man. You know, it's like, what's this guy's name? I forgot his name, man. There's this guy who who was like a core member of Node.js one of the the founders right and he basically got bored from node.js and decided to start learning um, golang right started learning golang started uh, promoting it and the whole community went against him the 
the whole fucking community is like, oh my god, no JS is better than Golay. You're a loser. Da -da -da -da. Mind you, he's one of the people that created Node.js. But he has a right to say that there's better options out there. Because there are. So, the community goes against him. You know, and it's like me. Sometimes I come in here giving a, an opinion. And people, I, it's like I'm supposed to go with the, the fucking, the sea of, of, of fucking losers. And I'm like, nah, man. I got my own opinions. I make my own decisions on on how I feel about certain technologies and what I think about it. To me, till this day, Vue.js is still is still like not worth it at all. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's pretty much a fucking clone. I don't understand how can people be praising something that was already created. Like if the guy would have created something brand new. I would have been fine, but it's like he took the the style of Backbone, took everything from Angular, and then after taking from Angular, he said, you know what, let's add components to it, and let's make it like, you know, like fucking React, like, come on, you know what I mean, like, we have to, to applaud originality, and, and basically for people who are creating new things, Recreating the same shit, you can't get no credit for it. It's like you create something, and then somebody comes in and repackages and and, and names it fucking uh, fucking Betty Boot Framework, right? And now everybody's like, "Have you seen the Betty Boot Framework? Oh my God, it's the same shit as fucking React and Angular, but it's fucking Betty Boot." Like, come on, guys. You know what I mean? But if I have an opinion on it and I say anything about it, it's like the whole community is against it. It's like, oh, you can't talk about this. Da -da -da. Like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, man. That was my little good morning topic with you guys, man. You know, it's a little message. Little message to, to you know, to the peoples who are in this community and look down upon others and and try to shut down other people's opinions as if you can't have a different opinion than what the whole community already have. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to follow what other people do, and you guys don't either. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. There's times that you have to do it for your job because they already might have something set up. Like, if you go to a company and they're like, yo, we already have, um, I don't know, Angular 1. That's our stack. You can't go in there and be like, okay, guys, fuck this. I'm going to just start doing React. They're going to look at you crazy. It's like, no, bro. Like, that was already decided. And that's it. You just got to do your work and that's it. But on your personal projects, you do whatever the hell you want. You know, nobody can come in and tell you what technologies to use, what, what libraries, what framework. Like, that's your project. Nobody owns that shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. That was a quick 14-minute ride to work. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you stay up. Make sure you stay positive. And, yeah. We talk later, kids. Bow.